we go, here we go. The good burghers of Bodmin are barely able to pay their taxes. Flut flatter and soothe him with my diplomatic charm. Uh, uh, you don't need to pay that. <laughs> In a drunken manner, of course. If I can even speak. Oh, this is quite bad. Not quite the smooth ending to the Elkair de Bagent. Quite tumultuous. Anyway, Flanders. I don't think Flanders is the main threat. Oh, Martin. Martin. Is that a good name? Martin, let me think. Martin, Martin. Uh, no. Nicholas. Yes. I call you Nicholas. There we go. Yes! Good riddance! But as I thought, the plot still continues. He fell to the ground like a piece of rotten fruit, where the balcony railing gave way. Another tragic accident. Like, f like father, like son. Clumsiness runs in the genes, I hear. Oh dear. But yes, the faction continues on. But it's just minus one person. So which one is that? That is Duke Folk of Lang. He's dead. He's dead, isn't he? D oh, this is a different person. This is Duke Folk of Lancaster, not this guy here. That was Duke. That was somebody else. It was Duke Adam. Duke Folk of Somerset. Too many folks in the world. What a stupid name. Ah, right. Who was that other person then? That's the head of the plot. Duke Folk of Lancaster. Can he die as well? Can he depart this world in a tragic accident? Tragic twist of fate? No. Not a chance. Right, well that's that situation sorted. Um, let me see. How many of these vassals are causing problem? Hmm. See, the good thing is, if we win this war, I say if we win this war, I mean they got a few thousand men, but this is nothing for us to be worried about, of course. The Flemings will reign supreme. When we win this war, and this, these I idiots are crushed, we, we, they won't, uh, the king would then at least get the opportunity to revoke their titles and imprison them without, without uh, penalty, I think, due to them being traitors and all. Just check my own vassal's opinions, make sure nobody is particularly... Uh, that's, that's perfectly reasonable. We still also have plenty of men to raise. Another 3,400 at our disposal. We'll let them get a full sense of security for now. Plus we don't want to go too quickly to our son's aid. We want him, we may, in a slight little, you know, evil twist, we want him to suffer a little bit first. Then we come riding into the night on our, you know, gallant steed blowing horns and routing the enemy and then we just drop a subtle hint to him to let him know just you know who we are don't forget me don't forget who saved your life again yes your beloved father just in case you're getting any stupid ideas so Vexin is falling very slowly uh, I wonder if we can end this war quicker let's see if we can enforce our demands no it's just a flesh wound, is it? Okay. If you say so. It's a city and a bishopric. They should fall pretty quickly to a siege. Once we're done there, we ride in. We take Flanders by storm. Deal with the Flanders situation. Once that is sorted, we storm England and take this by storm. And then we sit back with our pipe and slippers and revel in our glorious victories. Right, what am I doing? See, I'm leading troops. What's my son doing? He sat on his throne again. <laughs> the lazy so-and-so. I thought I was a slothful one. I'm busting a gut at age 60 what now? 66. Trying my best. And he sat there, fanning himself, having grapes fed to him while he lays there. The swine. I should let him, I should have let him suffer. 
In fact, I should let Henry get the throne. Anyway, let me calm down. It's not good for my old age. The, Jew the church has just gotten some very beautiful stained glass windows. And as I and Adelaide, my courtier, contemplated the windows, the priest approached and asked what we thought. I had thought about the symbolism of the windows while Adelaide just repeated what I had said. <laughs> like a parrot. She's too arbitrary to voice her own opinion. Oh, it was a bit flattering. No. <laughs> Am I kind? Am I a kind man? No, I'm charitable. But I'm not particularly kind. <laughs> yes. She was nothing more than a stupid parrot. It's quite embarrassing, really. England's in 6,000 men. That's not. That's getting up there. That's actually it's more than I can field right now. I can field another 3,000. 3,700, and together with this, that will be 5,800. Is that right? Yeah, that's not looking too good. I will need mercenaries. We've got tons of cash, though. Ah! William's son, how are you doing? I haven't seen you for ages. Count Gerard of Devon. Somebody tried to have him excommunicated. Utter cheek of it all. Right, Vexin, 93%. Can we end this fast now? No! Are you joking? Fighting on to the bitter end. Right. This Fleming Independence War, is it still just her? Yes it is. Right, we need to we need to get rid of her pretty swiftly. Let's get Flanders back under control and then we need to get focus on England's affairs over there. Of course they have to win the war. We don't have to we don't have to win we don't have to respectively win it. We just have to hang on for dear life. But of course we don't want to do that. We want to win it in style. We could really do with getting this down because if our if we were to die and our son was to take the throne, because a king can only con control three duchy titles without penalty, um, Bohemond's going to actually lose quite a bit of this military might, I think. So, well, before that happens, we could do with weakening this. It looks like he might have Flanders under control, although. Still saying minus 14%. I don't know why. Come on, let's get this war over with, shall we? <clears throat> More rebels cropping up. Defenders of something or other. Ah, more, more of them silly messages about the uh, sieges that I love so much. Two thousand men. Ah, they've been rather foolish, and they're trying to assault the holdings. She's going to lower their troop number, which is good. If they keep doing it and lose enough men, we can then uh, batter them with our forces. Ah, a de Crepon. Where's de Crepon? There she is. How's de Crepon? Remember Emma? Oh, God bless her. Oh, down to 4,000 men. Yes, they've taken a holding. Uh oh, it's getting pretty. Uh oh, it's getting pretty, uh. pretty shaky here. Oh. Oh, 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 what's happening? Did more people join? I think more people have joined now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> more people have joined. This is... This is getting up there to be quite a dangerous threat right now. 
my son is not doing a very good job keeping this. I have not worked this hard to let England slip through my fingers. Right, let's press this demand. Right, okay, stop it there. So Count Antoine of Vexin has usurped the title County of Vexin from Antoine de Vexin Amiens. <laughs> This now becomes part of uh, House de Normandy, uh, House, uh, House Fleming rather again. It's now a, once again, a vassal of Normandy. Although Evro's not anymore because it's the king, so we lose Evro and, okay, and gain Vexen. Four thousand men. Four thousand men. Yes, four thousand men. Raise the entirety of the Fleming forces, if you will. This is going to be so awkward to try and uh, fathom out. Let's get the forces sort of into one spot, shall we? It looks like England have got Flanders under control here, so we're going to leave Flanders alone and we're going to now try and assist our son with this problem here, which is growing by the minute. We'll get into ruin as well. So we'll sort of merge the forces together and then we'll start getting the boats ready. I don't I think we can do it without without mercenaries. I think we can do it without mercenaries. Right, we're going to need some boats. So we're going to start ra raising boats that are going out of fashion. Okay, that's uh, 15 boats. That should be plenty. take it down to one speed. I like to look nice and steady when I'm trying to organize my forces here. So more boats there, that's nine. Evro is not mine anymore. Ruin gets now that's 18 boats. Still not enough. Uh, 11 there. Ooh, that's a lot of boats. Let's see how many boats exactly it is. Okay. Slothfulness gets me into trouble with my liege king and claims I do not do a good enough job as a chancellor. Are you having a laugh? You cheeky beggar. Not slothful, my. Oh. That's a really. Oh, he let me off. I should think so! Look what I'm doing for you, you stupid, spoiled brat. Right, 29. Oh, still not enough. Are you joking me? More boats required, please. Quickly, please. Uh, Cornwall. It's action, action stations here. Oh, where are we going? We are going, boys. We are going big style. Full speed ahead. Oh, got measles breaking out. We've got all sorts of diseases. Smallpox, measles. Could you believe the other cheek of my son? Trying to accuse me of being slothful. You think I have time to fabricate claims when I'm in the field of battle leading troops for your stinking behind? Ungrateful little wretch. I have to leave you to drown. Drown under the weight of the enemy's troops, which is now back at 5,000. Do I have enough? My vassals won't like this, but well, <laughs> it's a time of need, it's an urgent situation. Right, we're going to merge them together. 4,000 men, merge them together. Can't change the uh, 
leaders of the forces. Let's get them. Let's get them the land the troops. We still don't have enough. Five thousand three hundred. It's going to be close. I don't like close. I like overwhelming victory. So, uh, where's my mercenaries? Let's get them. Let's get them. That'll do. Where are they? Send the boats back. And then we'll take the mercenaries up as well. And uh, sh that should provide ample to uh, dispatch of the enemy's main force. And then it's just a mopping up operation shortly after that. Where's he going? 